Good morning, everyone. Welcome to week two. It's April 6th today, week two of Outdoor Adventures Online. Um, hope you guys had a great weekend, beautiful weekend outside, sunny. I went canoeing a little bit, uh, actually 10 miles canoeing. Went on a nice bike ride with my wife. Um, went running with my dogs both days. So it's just a, I spent almost every hour outside. Had some bonnies that night and uh, good times. Anyways, in Outdoor Adventures this week, we're going to switch things up a little bit. Um, just based on your reflections you guys had, I'm going to post everything, all assignments, on Monday, today. So all assignments are posted. You have four assignments this week, and they're, they're, they're due Thursday night. So whenever you guys have time to do it, if you want to get them all done today, you can. If you want to, based on the weather, based on your schedule, just give you guys the freedom to, um, to kind of get the things done at your own pace. So, um, Anyways, assignments this week, there goes a wood duck right there. Um, anyways, the assignments this week are, um, I'm trying to think what they are right now. <laughs> um, it's too early in the morning. So anyways, your first thing today, so today's Monday, April 6th, your assignment today is a post called your favorite place. And just think about like, what is your happy place? Where do you like to be? Where would you, where do you like to visit? Um, for me, it's the Boundary Waters. I love the Boundary Waters. That is like my happy place. I feel alive. I feel relaxed up there. So anyways, assignment number one today, go on to our Google Classroom. There's a Google slide. Uh, make a new slide for yourself, put a picture down. Just kind of explain what is your favorite place. So that's number one. Number two for this week, there's an article um, called The Geese Return. And it's by this author, his name is probably backwards for you right now, but um, the author's name is Aldo Leopold. He's the father of conservation. He lived in the 1940s. He had a cabin in the Sand County area in Baraboo, Wisconsin. And Aldo would just kind of go to his farm and, and write observations and document stuff. He was a professor at Madison, uh, University of Wisconsin, Madison. Um, he's known as the father of conservation. So anyways, he'd go to his cabin and he would just kind of reflect on things. He would follow a skunk and just wonder what is the skunk doing? This article is about geese returning and how it's the true sign of spring. And so read it. He's a, he's a challenging read. He's, again, a professor, very knowledgeable, um, writes in a poetic way. But just read the article. Um, and there's some questions that kind of correspond with this, this little journal writing that he has. So that's the second assignment, the geese return. Number three, uh, after you read the geese return, uh, go outside and find a spot and kind of like a solo, but it's more of you kind of being like Aldo Leopold, kind of reflecting what do you see, what do you hear, and don't just say I see a leaf. Be more specific about what is the shape of the leaf, what is the color of the leaf. Uh, try to describe the leaf. So as you read Aldo Leopold, you'll see his style of writing, and you're going to try to imitate that when you do your, your set. And you can go back to the spot the spot you're sitting, just sit there for 15 minutes, reflect, go back there a few hours later and see how things have changed, even that time period of a few hours. So <clears throat> that's um, third assignment, um, reflection there. And then another thing we have this week is a scavenger hunt. Just if I Google Docs, there's 20 things to find from a pointed leaf to a, uh, a dog or a cat or a catkin and things like that. And it's just a fun way to get outside and kind of observe nature. So. And that's it. Hope you guys have a great week. Um, probably gonna do, I'll, I'll have a good morning tomorrow for you guys also. But all right, take care.